always wanted to try this soup. If a rat can do it, so can I. We'll start with Linguini's sad attempt at a vegetable broth and potato soup, which definitely would not be very appetizing in its current state. Keep in mind we are using Pixar physics in this movie, but in real life to make the soup correctly, we will need to simmer the soup until the potatoes are fork tender first before adding Remy's attempts to mix in some flavor with bay leaves and fresh cracked pepper. From there, we have to take some realistic creative liberties when it comes to making the soup properly. Not every ingredient added is easily identifiable or necessarily added in the so-called standard order when it comes to cooking. Next, we'll add in some white wine to give some acidity to the broth, followed by sweet onion and mushrooms to give the soup a hearty, aromatic base. Let the soup simmer for a few minutes to let the onions soften and the mushrooms start absorbing the flavors of the broth. Then we can toss in chopped garlic and some heavy cream to mellow out everything and pull it all together. Simmer for a few more minutes before adding in the chopped leek. Give the soup a generous seasoning of sea salt along with some fresh herbs like parsley and chives. Bring the soup back to a low simmer before adding in Gruyere cheese cubes and crumbled goat cheese. These will help to thicken the soup as it cools. Right before Remy is caught, he stirs in one last spoonful of herbs which looks like a variation of herbs du Provence which I definitely pronounced incorrectly, but it likely contains thyme, rosemary, basil, and oregano. Any combination of those herbs can be added to the soup to give it a wonderful herby flavor. Continue to let the soup simmer for another five to 10 minutes until the cheeses have completely melted into the soup and the leek has brightened in color and is fork tender with just a little bit of crunch left to it. Find and remove the bay leaves then give the soup one final taste and adjust the flavorings to your liking. I think Remy did a pretty good job at hitting every flavorful note in this soup. Give it one last quick garnish of chives to make it look restaurant fancy. This potato and leek soup is a hearty and comforting soup that is the perfect transitional dish between seasons, making the best of the last of winter's root veggies and the first fresh grains of spring. What fictional feast should I make next? Let me know in the comments below. Do you ever get hungry? Head on over to the starvingchefblog.com to find this recipe and many others for the ingredient amounts and step-by-step -step instructions. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that sub button and ring the dinner bell so you can be notified of my latest recipe and foodie adventures that I post every week. I hope you all enjoyed and don't forget, anyone can cook. <laughs>